What is going on everybody? My name is Dean, or as most of you know me, Twisty. Today we are doing a bit of a questions and answers video uh, because that's what I sort of do on Milestones. We hit 40,000 subscribers a couple of days ago. It's been going ridiculously quickly um, as of late. So thank you everyone for the support. Thank you for watching all the videos. Hope you've enjoyed it. But uh, this is so you can get to know me a little better. I asked you guys to ask me some questions and I've got them all here on my phone, so let's uh, get underway. Uh, this one comes from I'm Australian. It says, what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Uh, that's an interesting one because I think I've probably answered this one multiple times because it's like, I, it, it's pretty much a similar sort of story to everyone else. You just, you see what everyone else is doing. Um, you kind of enjoy, you know, watching other videos and you're like, hey, I, I think I could do that myself. Um, and I started doing that and I thought the best way uh, for me to share my passions was like sports So that's where I started doing uh, Sports gaming content because that's what I I love doing and love playing and um, I think it really comes across in the videos how much I enjoy doing that. Uh, this one is from Tubsidus He says congrats been here since 5k did you, did you play cricket as a kid? Um, no, I never really did. Like I had a cricket bat and everything, but like I never played uh, like competition cricket. I never like had a team or anything. I just played like cricket at school, like backyard cricket um, in, in like primary school and stuff. Uh, I was never any good with the bat. Uh, I was better at bowling. I could bowl uh, pretty much every sort of delivery you needed a wrong end. Uh, like a bowl leg, like I could bowl leg spin pretty well. I could bowl off spin pretty well. Uh, could throw down some medium paces. Uh, I was okay, but yeah, uh, I have played indoor cricket once or twice recently, and I'm still rubbish with the bat. I made like neg negative 15 or something the last time I played, so wasn't very good. This one's from Harshit Sukuma. Hopefully, I said that right. Uh, what game? What kind of games do you play in your spare time? I don't really know because I don't really know if I have too much spare time. Like pretty much. I'm either streaming or I'm recording if I'm playing games. Like I don't too often play games off stream or record. Um, sometimes I'll play like some story games if I think it might not suit the stream or like if it's just like a Saturday night where I'm scheduled for time off uh, for streaming wise anyway. And you know, a few of the fellas that want to play some Fortnite, I might jump on and play some Fortnite there. But um, yeah, it hasn't been a lot of games that I would have played off stream lately. Or off videos and the thing is because with streaming I play pretty much anything so uh, even if it was a game I would normally play my spare time you know most of that stuff has just translated into the stream because there's a lot more variety in the, the content that I do over there this one's from Nanny Santana says do you have a batting or bowling tutorial can you teach us humans how to be great at cricket 19 um, oh, Jeez, it's not. Honestly, I just played this game so damn much that I just get used to everything. Um, I think the best way to do it is just like keep slowly bumping up the difficulty. That's what I ended up doing in Ashes and um, that's what I did here. Like I don't play career mode on the hardest difficulty. I'm sure you guys know that I play it on hard, not hardest. Uh, but the Ashes stuff I do play on hardest because uh, it's a lot easier to play on that difficulty when you've got better rated players, whereas career mode you guys rated like 30 or whatever. So if you just play it on hardest, It'd be stupid. You wouldn't get anywhere. Uh, but yeah, if you make like a custom difficulty and just keep inching the sliders up again and again, eventually you'll just get used to it um, and you'll be better off. This one's from Shantha Pereira says, congrats on passing 40,000, thank you. Uh, and says, uh, I wanna know what is your favorite mode in Ashes 19? I'm guessing you're saying Cricket 19. Um, I think the scenario mode is really cool um, because it just like, career mode, you know what you're gonna get. Um, every other mode is just like cricket and whatever you want to do it with it. Uh, but I think the scenario mode is really cool because you can just pick up at a certain point in, in time and um, you can do so much with it. I know I want to play more scenarios on this channel. It's something that I really want to do more of, but um, after the ashes. This one from, I think it's Giuseppe Ali. Giuseppe Ali says, if you were a selector of the Australian test team and you could pick the team, who would be in it? So he's kind of saying I think three teams here. He says one out of the current players, one out of the past players, and one out of the combined past and present players. So like a, a greatest test team of all time. Well, I'd put Warney in there. He'd probably be like one of my first pick. Um, I think Warn, you'd probably have like Bradman, Lily. Like if you're picking like an all-time team. Um, but in terms of the current 11, I think they're doing a really good job at the moment in the Ashes of really picking a team that is going to suit 
um, the batting and stuff. I hope Steve Smith gets up for this next test, but if he doesn't, then um, I'm confident we've got enough guys coming through to uh, fill up the gaps. Uh, this one from Alagulo says, will you upload any more Fortnite on YouTube? Uh, maybe. We've been playing a lot more Arena lately, and we've been playing pretty well on it. Um, so if there is any like content on there, and it's basically just like if it's highlights from the stream that I think would make for a good video, then I would do it. Um, but we'll wait and see. This one's from Joshua Fisher. He says, hi Dean, do you think you'll ever post Minecraft videos on the YouTube channel and have a server with subscribers? Well, this is interesting because we kind of have a Minecraft server uh, on Twitch. So on Twitch, I've been streaming Minecraft a little bit lately, not a heck of a lot. Uh, but we set up a server that if you are subscribed to my Twitch channel, uh, people can join the server. There's been a bunch of people in there and there's been some ridiculous builds already so far. I think I'm supposed to have made a video by now of all of the stuff we've actually already built on that server. So yeah, if you come over to the Twitch channel and you're really keen on joining in on the Minecraft shenanigans, um, then, yeah, the best way to do that is head to the streams, and you can find out more info about that. Uh, this one is from Viresh Gupta. He says, hey, Dean, congrats on 40k. Uh, thank you again. Thank you very much. I uh, just wanted to know what got you into YouTube. All right, I can't answer that one. And what got you into making footy and cricket content? So, obviously, the YouTube one was just, you know, watching other videos. And, and the footy and cricket part of it was just... I think there was, like, a new football game that just come out at the time. was AFL 2011 or whatever, or AFL Live. And, uh, you know, I started making videos on that because there was a game that I, I was pretty keen on playing. Um, there hadn't been a new AFL game for a number of years. And I thought I was pretty good at the game. Like, you know, bit of uh, me, me, me time in terms of my abilities at that game. So... I thought, all right, I'm pretty good. I may as well share it online. And um, when the cricket game came around as well, it was like the first time there'd been a, a cricket game for a number of years, or at least one that I'd played. I don't think I'd played a cricket game um, since like Cricket 07 before Bradman 14 came out. And obviously when Bradman 14 came out, um, I was super keen on doing it and making videos for it, and I did, and I've been making cricket and AFL content really ever since. Uh, this one's from... So, I can't even tell if this is a serious question. It says, are you an Englishman or a Kiwi? Brackets, definitely not Australian. I feel like that's a joke, but I am Australian, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> uh, this one's from James. He says, hey, Dean, did you know AFL Evolution 2 would take this long and are you disappointed? Of course I'm disappointed. Um, I didn't know it was going to take this long. Obviously, it was never the plan for it to take this long. Uh, it sucks because I filmed a bunch of stuff with the Giants earlier in the year. Don't know if we're going to be able to use that footage or not, or whether we'll have to try again. Uh, next year so uh, from a personal level it super sucks um, but hopefully it means the game's gonna be better for everyone once it comes out hopefully uh, November I don't want to wait till December <laughs> this one's from Kieran says what are some features you'd love in the next cricket game or as DLC for the current one to make the game better for creators I think it's actually pretty good for creators right now because we've got the, the highlight stuff you can view that anytime through the menu if you really wanted to uh, the replay system's pretty good um, in terms of being able to do like really cool stuff with that um, and like storytelling and things. Um, maybe if there was a few more camera options in the replays to make some really cool cinematic stuff or because um, I know you can change like the tones as well so you can make it like sepia and stuff. Uh, you can do a lot of that in post-production anyway but yeah I think if you're really trying to do like really cool stories on there um, it might be something I can look into doing and, and seeing what the current replay system has capabilities for but I think it's okay at the moment. I don't know what more you'd really want. Maybe like a, a team career mode is something I thought about before because um, you know we've got like tournament mode and season mode but if you're playing as a team through a career mode and you're just constantly playing as Australia and, and the team evolving over time and you selecting different squads squads for different series. I think that would be really cool. That's probably the next logical step, I think, in uh, something I would want. This one's from Lachlan Onion says, hey mate, what is your favorite stream moment of all time? Ooh. Like the, Bris the Brisbane Lions grand final was pretty cool because there's just so many people in there. There's been some pretty cool raids um, that I've had from some, some bigger streamers. They've been pretty cool. I honestly don't know. There's been so many good moments on stream that just like, happen naturally. And even that DRS on 99 one, which has now exploded that video. Oh my God. That's a pretty cool moment now. Yeah, I, I, there's been so many. I, I can't name one. Probably probably the Brisbane Lions uh, grand final. 
And uh, we might have another grand final coming up soon. This one's from Tom. Tom Callock says, congrats on 40K, huge fan. Thank you, sir, Tom. Uh, says, what is your favorite sport and why? And what has been your greatest accomplishment? Okay, uh, Aussie rules football for me is my favorite sport. I know a lot of people expect me to say cricket, but in Australia and especially Melbourne, um, AFL is so big and uh, you know, I go every week. I'm super passionate about watching my team. I've been watching them, uh, you know, since I was like three or four years old going to games. So uh, very, very passionate football loving man for the uh, Richmond Footy Club. And uh, I just, I really enjoy being passionate at the game. It's it's a good release. It's good, uh, it's good excitement, especially now the team's doing really well. Um, it's been it's been a good little period to uh, watch the sport. But I just think it's such an exciting, crazy sport that not enough of the world gets to view because it's not not really shown anywhere else or played anywhere else really. And the other one you asked was what was my greatest accomplishment? Oh, it's probably been making YouTube videos to be perfectly honest. Can't say uni because I didn't really do that very well. Maybe working on AFL EVO 2, that's pretty cool. That's probably one of my better ones. Just because it's like, I don't know, seems so ridiculous. It's like a kid, you play these games and then you're like, oh yeah, I can, I can help them with that. And then you do. And it turns, you ho hopefully it turns out really cool. Uh, this one is from Regart says, do you have a girlfriend? Not at the moment. Uh, Sahan says, what's up Dean? What video editing software do you use? Uh, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, and then I use like Photoshop for thumbnails and as well as a lot of the graphics and stuff that I do on the stream. Uh, and this one's from Chris Boy says, do you go for every Richmond game, which is at the MCG? Uh, I do go to pretty much every game. I go to all the home games. Um, I try to go to as many away games as I can. I've been the last, uh, ever since we've been playing at the G. I think the only game I didn't go to was uh, the Mel Richmond Melbourne game this year. It was a couple weeks ago. It was raining. I was at a friend's birthday party. So that was it. Uh, this one's from Andre on Twitter. It says, so I assume you also have another job alongside YouTube and Twitch. How do you find the time to both record videos and then edit them to the quality that you do? Also, if you have a rough day at work, how do you find the energy to either stream or record? So at the moment, I don't have another job. Uh, when I finished up with AFL probably three months ago, I've sort of been doing this full time since then with sort of one or one off days uh, at work every now and again if required but like before then I was obviously working very hard on the weekends to get videos out I would record three or four videos at a time and just absolutely like I don't know run myself into the ground and that's why I took a bit of a break from YouTube last year because I just couldn't keep up with the workload um, and the other one you said there if I'm having a rough day how do I find the energy to stream or record sometimes you just don't you just you can't you can't force yourself to do something if you don't want to like if you're just not feeling it so uh, I've been better at taking breaks uh, of doing stuff and I think at the moment I'm in a pretty good structure of when to stream when to record and how to have the best balance um, that keeps me feeling pretty good. Uh, this one's from Jazzboy on Twitter. Longest Twitch sub of all time, by the way. Get around him. Uh, it says, if you were to live in a different place in the world, where would you live? You can't say Melbourne because you already live there. Probably Canada. Seems like the best. Like, it, Canada seems so similar to Melbourne. Um, may, like, maybe not Toronto. Somewhere a little bit more quiet. I wouldn't mind living in Adelaide. I know I give it a lot of crap, but it seems like super quiet. Definitely wouldn't live in Sydney though. That just does not seem like fun. Maybe the Gold Coast. Seems like a big party time. Could live at the Gold Coast. All right, I got time for like one more question. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, last question is from AAB on Twitter says, wanted to ask if you would do a room tour soon and if you have a pet. Uh, room tour, maybe. I mean, it's not massive room to, to tour. Um, and not at this house, don't have a pet, but got a cat at my mum's place. Um, her name is Tiffany, pretty cute cat. Maybe I'll put a picture on the screen now. But yeah, that is it for today's questions and answers video. Thank you guys so much for 40,000 subscribers. Absolutely amazing, love you all. My camera is about to turn off in like five seconds. So I've got to finish this outro. Love you all, bye. Please like the video. See you all later. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and dead.